After you, Mark. Okay, thanks. Nice. Okay, so just to give you a little rundown. Yeah. Uh, the building is uh, called the Alamo. It's a lovely name for people to say that you live in the Alamo. Yeah. You know, it's kind of cool. But actually, it is a cool building, an extremely well kept condominium. Uh, the owner of the building, uh, the owner of this apartment is wonderful. Uh, if anything goes amiss in here, you give her a call and she'll have her guy or the superintendent come right over to take care of it. In an emergency, you just call the super's number, which uh, you would have if you rented this apartment. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the location is great, 93rd Street in Madison. You're a block away from the park. It's not a huge apartment, obviously, uh, but it's a bit of a jewel uh, for the right person. Right. You know, it's, uh, I've had uh, couples live here and single people live here. For a single person that has a guest over occasionally, I think it works really, get really great. Yeah. Or for a couple that's really in love, it can work well for right. a while anyway. It's a little cozy, but I mean, nice. Yeah, yeah nice. It, it's nicely done. It's very quiet back here. You've got, you know, you're looking west and you've got a southerly view. Uh, the trees are starting to come into bloom, so you have a treetop. Uh, view which is very nice uh, yeah. in the spring and summer and and into the fall as well a lot of sky so this is as dark as this apartment gets oh. uh, other than nightfall right. when the when the uh, after one o'clock and the sun is overhead and going west you just about need sunglasses in here it's that bright wow. but they have solar shades on the windows oh, okay, uh, yeah. to cut it down too oh, that is a great little view there yeah sure. it's very nice uh, the kitchen um, was uh, has been remodeled um, it's very you know very nice appliances a high-end dishwasher refrigerator um, new cabinets stove and that's a microwave and a convection oven as well oh both oh, okay. yeah so, acs uh, are included uh, the window treatments are included the mirror can stay if you like it if you don't like it take it out this is traditionally where people put their tv sets or their computer so it's a nice little cover for that stuff for your electronics and also for some books my 93, it's got telescope, automatic telescopic steering wheel. Yeah. And it has a memory, so you set it, and you can set it for two different drivers. In, the, in your 93 Lexus in 93. Has it. It's got heated seats, and it's got, uh, and, it, and it has a telescopic seat, uh, steering wheel, automatic, don't have to touch it, the presets, and the electric automatic seats for both the driver and the passenger side. Wow. Right? I mean, it's got so much stuff that a, was way ahead, ahead of its time. time yeah. you know? Wow. Yeah, this, this one's not bad, but I think a little tight. A little, a little, a little, tight, little right? Yeah. yeah. Let's get out yeah. of here. <laughs> you, you, like, you like this one more? Well, yeah, I'm not in love with it, but I like it better than the one that we were just in. Yeah. Oh, this is good. It's not as roomy as my Lexus. <laughs> no, not, I don't think anything's as roomy really? as it the Lexus. Isn't. No. Yeah. You could always just ignore the screen. I don't know. Right, it, you're kind of looking right at yeah. it. <laughs> if you could turn it off, if, but it's got maybe, all this information on it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is a nice car. Comfortable. I feel like I'm sitting very low. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know. There we go. Maybe a little t tough to see. Uh, maybe there's a way to raise the seat. There is. Oh. How well, I've raised it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Yeah. This is sweet. This is nice too, yeah. yeah. Oh wow, I didn't notice the uh, panoramic. Panoramic. Uh, yeah. So many to choose from how to choose. And it has an analog clock. It has <laughs> it better. How much did he say this one was? This was like 90 full out. 90? 90. For a Maserati. Yeah, it's really. It's not so bad. No. 
Wow. wow this is wow. pretty I nice. like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is... Uh, this, this could do. This could work. This definitely would work. And they have dead sound deadening laminated glass, windshield, you know, full yeah. windows, and optional in the back. Wow, this is a great car. Really yeah, this, the, the detail is... Uh, An animal will never set foot in this car. Nah, no, never. Never. No. In fact, get, so get this car, no animals anymore. Yeah. <laughs> An aquarium is, 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 uh, as far as pets go, that's it. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. Very sweet. But I do want to see what 190 gets here. Yeah, let's <laughs> take a look. Let's see what, uh, yeah, the 190. This is Which one? That, uh, that one? That one. That one. And, and maybe that one, too. I'm sure at, like, high-end rental places, they must. You know, I mean, I'm sure if you costs. wanted a, this kind of Maserati experience, just wanted to treat yourself, I wonder what a weekend would cost. A weekend? Yeah. What do you think? You could take a wild guess. Couple grand. Couple of grand. I'd say. Yeah. I'd say. Maybe we could both be wrong. It could be even more than that. Yeah. This is nice though. Look at all this beautiful finishing. I couldn't imagine it being more than no a thousand a day. I couldn't either. But look at the stitching on the car. Yeah. Oh, it's just it's it's beautiful. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Okay, so now I know what a Maserati feels like and looks like. Yeah. It's all good. Wow. I mean, this, even, you know, yeah, this all is like this finish is just, it's almost like, it feels like suede. Yeah, could be. I think it is. Could be suede. Wow.
mid-May. So, bird or not, this was a very interesting side huh. that Senator Sanders took today to Portland. Right. To That's probably a good, really good. He was that is hot. To the Northwest to do uh, what's expected to be possibly an even bigger rally tonight Ooh. in Seattle, Washington, because Washington will be voting tomorrow morning on the Democratic side of the presidential race. Uh, and, and it's interesting, Washington has a little bit of an unusual political history when it comes to presidential primaries and caucuses. In 1988, when Washington State was holding their presidential caucus on the Republican side, Washington shocked everybody, including yeah. most of the Republicans. Artichoke pizza is not really pizza, it's something the else. <laughs> they vice president, George H.W. Bush. Instead, they picked mm. Pat Robertson. No. Pat Robertson, yeah, Pat Robertson did not win many states in 1988 against Poppy Bush, but he did win the caucuses mm. in Washington State, of all places, oh, which kind of freaked out the Republican yeah, Party in is, Washington. It is as good as I yeah, remember. Right, right, freaked yeah. out enough that they basically mm, stopped, uh, stopped using the caucus system. Even on the Democratic side, though, Washington is a little uh, bit strange in terms of the way they do their caucuses. You, uh, one of the things you can generally say about caucuses and some primaries is that caucuses and 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 primaries is Yada yada yada, I'm not saying all the smooth vibe is and all that. Oh, but it, it's, it is. Oh, it's just very amazing. lovely. And so quiet inside. Once you, when we shut everything down and put the music on, yeah, like oh. you said, you barely had the music turned like up at all. Driving like, you know, in your living room, as Bill said one day. So, um, I was telling Mark about the alternator situation and that they. You know, burn out. I don't know whether it's going to burn out in a month or eight months or a year. So while I was explaining that to him, I thought, well, I was lamenting the, the, the loss of the Lexus. And I thought, well, what if I, what if I just carried a spare alternator in the, in the trunk? And if I broke down?